Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, and welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. We are back after you know some time off this summer, and delighted to have guests Michael Girardi and Shane Lavoy from Live for Evan. Thank you so much for being here. This is our first meeting, and we're looking forward to learning more about everything. Yeah. Well, for yeah. me, it's a bit of a reunion because I've known you two for years. That's right. <laughs> so this That's is right. so exciting. It's great to see you guys again. Oh, it is. It's wonderful. So how long have you been here, Michael? Tell us about you. Um, we moved into town some 25 years ago. Okay. And um, I've been fortunate enough to raise my family with all of you and many others. It's been fabulous, fabulous ride. Yeah. Yes. And Where'd you come from? Yeah. Um, I grew up in North Jersey, okay. went to school in New Hampshire, did a couple years in L.A., mm -hmm. came back and uh, I've been lucky enough to work in the area and raise my, my family here. That's yeah. awesome. So how many children? Um, four. Yes. Four. Mm -hmm. um, one in heaven. Yeah. Yes. Evan, Evan in heaven and um, Evan in my three heaven. girls. Mm -hmm. Great. Was Evan your oldest? He was, yeah. yeah. He That's was. my son's name. So I'm so proud really? of Evan, Evan Duart. I love really? that name. And, you know, <laughs> we see the live for Evan. And, I mean, in fact, Evan says, you know, when he sees a sign, he's got some other uh, T-shirts and so forth. And, <laughs> you know, he always very respectfully says, this is not about me. You know, he, he'll, you know, say that, and he tells the story mm -hmm. a bit of the, the young man who lost his Good life. Connection. Good yeah, connection. Yeah, it is a good connection. And then Shane. So my family moved here in 1995, so okay. we've been here about, uh, what's that, about uh, 20 years or so. Wow. So you're uh, a little one, huh? <laughs> yes, yes. I, I was six when we moved here. Yeah. Um, and so we came up, um, I graduated from Hopkinton High School in 2007. Mm -hmm. I was a classmate of Evans. Um, yes. And my parents still live here, same house. I think they're in it for the long haul. They love oh. the town. They just put some work into their house. So <laughs> yeah. you'll be seeing them around town for the foreseeable future. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, so yeah, it's been great, and, and I think for, for Live for Evan, to, to have the race in the Hopkinton community is, is great because A, it's a running community, and B, it's such a close, tight-knit community that we, we really get a lot of support from, from local businesses and people that we've known for a long time and new friends now that the town's growing, so it's, it's been great. I think what that was neat last year is um, the amount of turnout and the turnout that is actually broader than just talking to you. Absolutely. I mean, I saw a huge Loyola following that followed over and came, and, that, and I noticed in the back of your shirt and on, on different things that even Loyola, Loyola is still a sponsor. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. So, well, we met well, some well, college students. Um, yeah. Evans. Yeah, classmates. Classmates. They were yeah. working Sorry. in Boston, but... But, but they were right, walking with us, and they were actually sharing mm. more about the story and the so history. back up. Yeah. Um, it, it clearly, you know, it's this is an honor of, and, and because, you know, it, um, Evans' untimely death, but this is also for a cause. Right. And I'd love to hear that. more about the cause, and then... In the history yeah. of the event. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the cause is, um, it's been pretty on track from the beginning. Uh, we weren't totally clear what the, the end result was going to be, but on that little journey, which took us about a year to sort out, we've now settled down with some consultation with Children's Hospital along the way mm -hmm. to realize that they <laughs> have a huge housing need, long-term housing need for families who come from around the world into, into children's for care. Mm. And it's a, it's a huge, we used to, I used to know the number, but they talk about how many um, living nights, housing nights that they're short because they have people coming to them. And so, um, yeah, I do remember one, one thing that they said to us in a meeting was that they had to turn away, for every one person who they could welcome in to, to mm -hmm. somewhere, to a housing um, spot that they had, they mm -hmm. had to turn away another. Right. So they have a huge long-term housing need because a lot of times when people come from, say, a California or something right. like that, they're going to stay for potentially three months, mm -hmm. six, six months right. instead of one or two days. So if they're staying in a, um, a house for three months, that's, they're taking up a, a room for three months. Right. Um, so what we sought to do with our housing program was to have a long-term place where people, where fam a family could stay um, on their own individually. It's, it's kind of like a, a suite mm -hmm. program. Um, uh, for, a, for a long period of time. Okay. 
So Children's was where Evan was treated. Correct. And, yeah. and um, received his primary care. Correct. Yeah. Um, and became and I have an affinity to yeah. Children's as well for yeah. other reasons and, and it's yeah. a wonderful, wonderful hospital with incredible health care. Yeah. Um, and so you chose to support the overall needs of families who need to come and have housing um, yeah. while their child is being cared for. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's, I think, mainly focus around families right. and patients. Let's start yeah. there yeah. because we do other things too. We mm -hmm. do, mm -hmm. we do Yawkey family dinners every other month in Children's where we go into the Yawkey house with our own supplies and you know, feed the house and that house wow. holds something like you know 70 people oh when God. it's full and we do that every other month so that's <coughs> around feeding families mm -hmm. and going in and talking to them as an example another thing we do too so yeah it's only basically around families the, the patients mm -hmm. a little bit but we're not so tight to them but it's around families housing feeding yeah. so how do they find yeah. you was that through so, children's? And children's regions. We naturally went back to children's in the early days because that's where we, where we. I don't know. I mean, the families that need help. Oh, uh, interesting. Uh, the children's so, hospital. So children's right? does manage yeah. the. So we have we do have our first apartment open now right. at the Longwood Galleria, adjacent to Children's wow. Hospital. So that opened March first. And in terms of managing who comes, the families that come through that apartment, it is children's that's that awesome. manages it. Yeah. We fund it. So we um, fund the, the rents, the utilities, we furnish the place. Um, and the place is, it's, <coughs> excuse me, it's a one bedroom with a large family room, two couches, its own kitchen, mm -hmm. its own bathroom, um, which I think is a nice change for some of the families because the Yaki house that Mr. Girardi mentioned mm -hmm. is a kind of a communal um, okay. house where mm -hmm. many families um, come to stay. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that if you are at the Children's Hospital for three months having your child taken care of, mm -hmm. you probably want some privacy at a certain yeah, point. So that's what we're able to offer um, with our apartment that's opened up. Um, so how, how long has the organization existed to even um, The, do the these grassroots things? were grassroots. laid in 2012. Yep. Okay. Um, wow. That's when we started. Mm -hmm. um, we started originally with you know, printing some t shirts and my daughter Paige and one of the Loyola kids ran the marathon, we right. raised a little bit of money, and we mm -hmm. sort of moved on to mm -hmm. what we're doing now, mm -hmm. much more formally. And when did you, and I was, what sparked your motivation, at the, to obviously, well, have your son, but. Yeah, so we initially had a, some money, initially, in the early days, that everybody donated to us, just mm -hmm. whenever we lost Evan, we took that money and started scholarships. So we do, we will also do scholarships for the Hopkins High School kids, right. too. Oh, wow. So we do two to four of those a year. We've done those every year since um, 2011. 2011. Yep. Um, and you know, we've done like 15 of those in total, and those run too. So we do, we're doing that too. Um, but accurate. we started there, and then these guys, the four of them, Jack Nealon, Shane, Rick O'Dell, and Whitney Mullen, had this idea to do something more formally. They mm -hmm. approached us. Would we jump in with them, Barbara and I, and my family, and of course, they're, we, we decided to do that, and then we kind of took it to a different level. So this wow. was sort of... It was, it was, so it started with um, a lot of us, when Evan passed, we knew we wanted to do something to honor him. Mm -hmm. So initially, a lot of our friend group would do Tough Mudders or the Marathon or 5Ks, things like that. And we had Live for Evan shirts printed up, but I don't think at that time we knew we wanted to found an organization. Mm -hmm. Um, but it kind of grew to that point where Whitney, Jack, myself, and Rick knew that we wanted to do something. Um, so we approached the Girardis and they were fully on board. And um, so that was, like we said, late 2012. And then our first uh, 5K race here in Hockington was the fall of 2013. So we had about, what's that, about nine months to, to prepare for the first one. Mm -hmm. um, and we've kind of been rolling ever since. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was like great. The, the spirit of that race last year um, was just wonderful. Just the, the crowds, the organization, the everything was just so well done. Yeah. And the festival so atmosphere that yes. you actually ended up back in was yeah. really cool. And you know, so having the vendors and different people there to like kind of. Here's I, a banana, here's this. I, I will oh, give yeah. a shout out real quick that yeah. we've had a lot of help from Dave Kruger, who okay. um, is a co chair of the Timlin race. Oh, so we've, nice. we've looked up to them. Um, obviously, they're a great race in town. That, what's their 12th or 13th year that they yeah. had this yeah. year? Yeah. Um, so he's been instrumental in 
having people think that we're such an organized race and, and a, gr a great spirit. And, um, you're going to fool the so, so yeah, if, if we're fooling you, then that's thanks to Dave. Well, so. it, it has become a really nice community event. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's definitely become something that um, allows all of us to honor and remember Evan. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've turned it into lemonade by creating this wonderful um, Foundation that gives back to um, such a, know, a very needed yeah. part of our greater Boston community with uh, Children's Hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a point on that. Um, the way that the way the arrangement works on the this first apartment we've got, so it costs us around forty thousand dollars to lease it. We did a one-year lease on mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, we are fully ready to. Um, pay the cost of that. The way it works when, when a, a needy family comes to Children's and they can't afford something, um, right. Children's tries to slot them somewhere um, and they, they can slot them out to us. So mm -hmm. they ask for a donation of a needy family of something like $50 a night mm -hmm. as compared to you know, 250 in a right. hotel or something right. like that. And if we, if we get that money in, it kind of comes back to us as a credit. If we right. don't, we don't get it. And at mm -hmm. the end of the year, we ante up, mm -hmm. which will be in March of this next coming year. Mm -hmm. We definitely want to continue with that one apartment, but mm -hmm. you know, really it depends how we do. Continue right. to do, we could go to a second one. They're always encouraging us to go to a second one. Well, given the them. needs that you describe, right. the families, I mean, they need lots of housing. One thing I would Option, mention correct. is that um, the Children's has expressed to us that they have a need of up to 40 similar apartments yeah. to, to what we've opened. And okay. we're actually the first apartment of our kind to open up with the Children's Hospital. Wow. Oh. So we've said in meetings, and it might be, you know, it might be an illustrious goal, but we would like to fully fund all 40 if Good. we could. I mean, aim um, high. The, you know, that could be that's years, that's could be years before that happens. But, but if you um, don't, I, I, aspire for it. I mean, right, you know, you exactly. Yeah, so good. that's that's our that's, that's our the goal. dream. That's, that's our a, dream. Okay. It, this is it really incredible because families come from all around the country and the world. Mm -hmm. And while insurance may cover the may, may is a and cover <laughs> the cost of the medical procedures for their child, these Doesn't families, um, they're forgoing earning incomes, right. they're forgoing, right. uh, you know, for and, jobs, and, yeah. and, and jo uh, this whole, <coughs> and it's, you know, but, but for them, of course, they need and want they're to be putting their it all child. on the line. <laughs> yeah, it all and on so this is an incredible way to yeah. support them, because mm -hmm. um, very few, I mean, even well-to-do people, Think about it. If you had to take three months yeah. or six months mm -hmm. and put your entire life on hold, it's that's extremely right. disruptive. Right. And, right. and so this is incredible. No, that's what a you big guys deal. Are yeah, the, the first family that went in the, uh, for, uh, the this first apartment was there for three months, yeah. mm -hmm. and they were back and forth between the, oh, yeah. the, the patient. The location of the apartment is great because it's it's right really there. right oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. It, it literally five forth. minutes walk. Yeah, you know, if it's they need to come over location. there for an hour, they go back over for an hour, and then they come back to the apartment and you know, mm -hmm. get through their day. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, I guess right now I have actually a family member in that hospital, so um, mm -hmm. the needs are beyond just even someone coming in. The people have to realize how much it costs for people for gas and tolls and things like that. For, mm -hmm. We have a local <clears throat> family in town who's been in that hospital for like nine months. Absolutely. That's right. And that, you know, they're, um, they're staying in hotels like when, you, so that the wife, they sharing cars and saving things down, but there, there's a lot out there. Absolutely. And that, you know, this takes even as just what, one family at a time, it's a huge thing to take on. Yeah. One mm -hmm. family at a time, yeah. taking a burden off part of their load at that time. So what are your long-term aspirations? You said you'd love to fund 40. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that is the goal. Right. Um, are there you no know, any what other, you guys any dream other about? types of things you'd well, like to cover? Or? Initially, when we first thought about this housing program, we were thinking in terms of the Yaki House model, which mm -hmm. is a standalone house where um, I think they have like 32 bedrooms or something like that Indeed. where wow. where um, people can come in. Now obviously that's very expensive and there's there's costs involved with that like maintenance and, oh, yeah. and insurance and, and things like that that, that add on top of it. Um, I don't know that we fully tabled that so mm -hmm. potentially you could say that that's our if, if everything the chips were to fall into place and we mm -hmm. were able to do something like that I think um, we still would be very much interested. Mm -hmm. But at this time, the great thing about the apartments is that it allows for scalability mm -hmm. quite yes, gradually. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we can grow incrementally over time mm -hmm. with the apartments. 
um, and potentially with, with that um, housing goal in mind in right. the, down the line if, if things go fantastically. And I would imagine you might even consider beyond just the immediate neighborhood of Children's Hospital if you, in terms of looking at real estate or looking at options because people at least, if it's drivable, yeah. Yeah, you know. we've we've um, we've talked to them about that. We, you know, obviously the property is a little cheaper in Hopkinton than it is <laughs> in, uh, you know downtown Boston. But anywhere along like the, the train route, you yeah. know, right. some of I these mean, yeah. Yeah. Right. Would be, right. yeah. um, we can't see them convince them that that's a good idea. They okay. they really want to be in close to the hotel. They they talk about the families well, coming and going all the time. Well, right, it, it, housing, it, and it, especially when you don't know when they're going to call you for a test yeah. or an or, I mean. In my case, it's a nephew waiting for an organ transplant. Yeah. What, so you don't know when it's that, when that you know, six pack cooler is yeah. going to show up. Right. Yeah. That right. you have to be on call. Right. right. And I guess I want to drive a little bit of time to the event coming up on September 10th. Yeah. Right. Um, I know we'll have the website and everything else, but sure. tell us about how people register, what the route is, who your sponsors are, and all that. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, so to register, you go to liveforevan.org, and I think so. The link is on the sign, but I and think we'll it'll probably be on the, on the on the on the digitals mm -hmm. as well. Yes. Um, so the route begins at EMC Park, the Little League Field, mm -hmm. um, and it goes downtown uh, past the Common, and then you take a left down Main Street up towards um, where Pleasant. what's it Grove Street? Not yeah, Grove Pleasant. Street. Pleasant Street. Uh, Pleasant Street Pleasant, there. Right. Um, you take a left there. Go. Oh, past so you go all the way up to the old. All way, yep, you do the yeah, the old <laughs> hands players. Um, so it's, it's a little hilly right there. So yeah, that'll okay. cost the hillers for nothing. Um, so then you go past the high school, turn down the Loop Road, and it ends just behind the middle school. And that's where our after event is staged, where we have free food from vendors and we have live music from the Boston Naturals. I don't know that if you guys go down the Cape uh, at all, uh, yeah. but the Boston Naturals are a big awesome. band down there. Yep, they play well, at they the Beach Coma. They, they were there. Right. That's a new ad okay. this year. Awesome. Um, also new this year, we're going to have a cornhole tournament um, with uh, up to 48 people. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's I love that. That's the game. That's that the tailgating okay. game. Oh, the, yeah. the boxes okay. with yeah, the holes Yeah, I, I think in we it. called yeah. it. You know, being bag toss as a kid. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, the nice thing for it, it's a game for all generations. So you could have kids play, you could have yeah. older people play. This is what yeah. is so wonderful is there are serious runners, there are very, very casual runners, there They're are walkers. joggers and walkers, yes. there are families, parents with children in strollers, mm -hmm. and then the after event. Right is very community oriented right. and you know I know you encourage anybody and everybody to come. Please it's do. Really fun. One, one other thing is we have a, that's new this year is we have a challenge course for kids uh, kindergarten through eighth grade. Oh, really? Um, so yes. Like an obstacle course? An, an yeah. obstacle course that we'll have um, over towards the baseball field side of um, the after event location. Okay. Um, so that, that'll be a new thing. We, we want to try to drive towards a new demographic for us which would be the younger kids. I okay. think a lot of times it's it's you know friends of Evans and friends of the Girardis and and the, uh, you know the extended Hawkington community mm -hmm. but we want to kind of drive towards uh, younger folks as well right. so we'll have that challenge course this year so yeah. I do know that there have been runners joggers walkers who came from Loyola what has been maybe do you know who has come the furthest or any idea on I, I would we definitely have had some Californians wow. there um, connected to Loyola or yep. family yeah. or friends that have moved from Hopkins yeah. out there will come back annually. I, it, for, for a lot of people who come, it's, a, it's an annual place to get back together. So yeah. like the, the Loyola kids that will come, there'll probably be 35 of them that wow. will come and they've moved out now and to other locations and they'll come back in and they use it as a place to get yeah, together. As I share with you, I have a very strong friends and family connection to that school and it is when you're on Loyola campus, it's a community right there. It's mm. tight. It's a small mm -hmm. campus, and it's a you become family very quickly on that campus. So, yeah. what is your goal for registration numbers this year? How many registered well, last year? How many do you hope to have this year? Yeah, so we 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 always end up around five to six hundred. Mm -hmm. Wow! Last mm -hmm. year we were under just under low fives. Low fives, yes. Low fives. Yes. We have a goal this year to get to over six. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Or um, six hundred. We're um, tracking well for that. Um, good. 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 The the timing of the the date, September tenth. We have always picked. Um, Strategically, and we're lucky to hold that area. It's it's 
it's after everybody comes from back from vacation. Yeah. It's after yep. the Labor Day weekend. Right. Mm -hmm. right. People are starting to get engaged with the town and mm -hmm. stuff, and um, it works. The weather's, the weather's usually, usually good. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Saturday morning, September 10th. Exactly. Right. Um, we'll definitely be doing and this more is to get the word out. The, mm -hmm. Let me do the math. I'm Third. slow. No. The the third? Fourth. Fourth. The fourth. The fourth. Fourth. This is the fourth, the fourth annual. Yes. That's right. right. Yeah. So this is your flagship event. Mm -hmm. Do you so, do other correct. events during the year? Yeah, we've, uh, we've, we haven't yet officially done them. We've got a lot, a handful of them on the roadmap. I think coming now into 2017, you'll feel another event or two. It'll be okay. a different flavor mm -hmm. than the, the race type mm -hmm. event. It'll mm -hmm. be a fundraiser. It's likely to be in the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, to say Boston or Hopkinton. Yeah, area. I think we'll probably wander toward the we'll city just okay. to have a draw. So we've got a couple things deep in the works um, Great. that we'll yeah. be announcing shortly. Oh, well, you have to keep us posted on all that, because yeah. we're, we're Hopkinton and beyond. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. absolutely. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. So I can, you're awesome. Shane, I can see you're really vested in this. Yes. So what have you been doing since college? Now that you're living in Boston, do you? Um, I work as a financial analyst uh -huh. uh, downtown for Pioneer Investments. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. So I kind of serve as the numbers guy for Live for Evan. So, uh, <laughs> so how can we? Uh, I can relate to that. Uh, yeah. so my, work, my work experience does help uh, in terms of being the treasurer of Live for Evan. Um, so yeah, it's, it plays well. Yeah, and yeah. then who are some of your sponsors this year? Um, glad you asked. Um, I have, so our sponsors this year are CVS Pharmacy, Select. Mm -hmm. Landscape Depot, Unibank, Arteriosite Medical Systems, Loyola University, mm. Phipps, Scott's Landscaping, and mm. Gilbane Construction. So oh, as you can hear from that list, a lot of local companies, and for us it's a lot of year over year, um, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. same sponsors, which is great because um, I think once they uh, invest in us and they come out and they see the event, uh, they're very likely to come back the next year um, because you know I hope they're happy with, with uh, what they see out there. Wow. And it's great to see like CBS getting involved yes. as a new yeah. business in town. And then you always, and Unibank, I mean Unibank yep. has been helping and supporting up yeah. so much of, um, from very, yeah. very, very giving and getting involved. And then always the standbys, the FIPS, the Scotts Landscaping. Yeah. Yeah. So it shows, a, you know, new businesses, you know, some fi another financial institute, and also, you know, the, the, the standard businesses that have been in town still embracing it. So it's really cool. Right. So mm -hmm. is it too late? Has the sponsorship been cut off, or can you still be a sponsor but not be on the shirts, or what's the deal right now? Yes. Yeah, so the artwork for the shirts is finalized. So. Um, so that you, the, a new sponsor wouldn't be able to be on the shirts. However, if we would certainly welcome sponsors, and we would be able to reward them by putting um, their logo and link on the website, um, on our marketing collateral that goes out via email, um, on day of signage, mm -hmm. shout outs on the day of the race, things right. like that. So there still is a there's still in time with packages. To be sure, built. Yeah. sure. Right. Yeah. Well, can I say it? You can say it. <laughs> you, no, we, we um, the Real Hopton Housewives would love to to contribute to this. A in, in addition to, um, you know, being in the race, uh, we will do thank that. You. But we well, thank we you guys very much. We put it's our together. It's it's modest. Modest. We're just a little bitty. <laughs> we're just a bitty. So, so bitty just to realize that um, we're, we're also all about not a lot of overhead expense. So right. really, for I don't know what the actual number is, but for every dollar we bring in. We try to bring it very directly to the patient, mm -hmm. so we're Absolutely. also very careful about the some of the organizational overhead of you know even children. So we right. try to keep right. it arm's length and bring it right. in direct. That's well, great. Yeah. So That's great. My day job, I work with nonprofits, and uh, certainly well. understand that balance of um, you know those those things. But gosh, just um, thank you, yeah, thank love. you all. Yep. Well, Absolutely. thank you guys. Um, just really, you we're know, so happy. Honored. It's we're very honored to have you. I was yeah, feeling, absolutely. you know, just feeling kind of in awe, of just you know what you're doing and, and the what impact a, you're making, a, and you know, the honor that you've bestowed on you yourself. Mm, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. So we'd probably like to give a few shout outs. What's happening in the community? Darlene is our, our <laughs> person at large who knows I mean, all. I, th I think all of us have been kind of in summer mode. So you know, things happening in the community. We've already. You know, the farmer's market is still going on on Sundays. Um, Live for Evans coming up. Back to school is actually the Imminent. 30, <laughs> it, it, well, it's the 31st. <laughs> and they go back for two whole days, and then they're off for five. So <laughs> we do a dry run, you see. <laughs> we do a dry run. But I, mean, I think it's also the time of year where a lot of us are packing kids up for dorms and things like that. And the school supply lists and the classroom lists are all coming out. Um, 
And Amit, I, I want to actually talk about a couple of things that were going on right now in the community. One is the Art on the Trail. Yes. Have yeah. you been through that? Have you seen that? Have and you been there? I have not fun. been through. I saw it on Hot News, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A nice yeah. little walk. It's walk. really fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's ongoing for the next couple of weeks. I mean, I know the concerts in the Common are over, but the Farmer's Market is still there. Yeah. And that runs until the middle of October. Um, HCA has a list of things going on. The sign-ups for fall for YMC after school events yeah. for the Metro West Y at the Hopping Campus are up. The um, after school programs for HPTA are already up online mm -hmm. for the fall. And Parks and Recs has a uh, fall calendar. I know flag football is starting, all this stuff for women. So there's a lot of things going on that um, the links are out there. We'll have them up on the Real Housewives page. They'll go out in our e-newsletter yeah. if you receive it. And, um, you know, um, a shout out to, you know, if you see something, say something. There's been some vandalism out there. On the trail. And um, whether it's been the trail, whether it's been the common, whether it's been um, people's homes, see something, say something. You know, mm -hmm. none of us want to say it was our kid or anything else, but it's somebody's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I well, know. and uh, we're, we're rapidly approaching fall. Oh. And mm -hmm. uh, in addition to all the back to school is the uh, changing of the fall colors coming up yeah. and a lot of fall events. And I think and we're going to talk about fall events on our next show. Sports yeah. events will be coming up so. with the high school. Mm -hmm. I think uh, a few of those are happening. So, all good. Well, yeah. I also think the timing of their race is actually kind of perfect oh, yeah. because it is like the perfect weather, but it's also kind of the kind of back to school, get exactly. out there and have fun with your family. And you see everybody. Where, you know, yeah, yeah. A, lot, yeah, back. a lot of the other mm -hmm. races will not start till around Halloween again right, that are around right. there. Because there were actually, you know, 5K addicts. Yeah. They, they are, they're, on, they're literally on race wire every day. That's There's right. a new one. There's a new one. Let me sign up. And so this is, this Look at you opens, out there, darling. This running. opens a gap. Yeah, right. That's not happening. <laughs> that, that opens a gap where they, there isn't normally a lot going yeah. on for a 5K right there at that. So I think that's also really ideal in the timing you pick. I mean, we've got others coming up in the fall, whether it's that turkey trot that started last yeah. year and what HCA is doing. But this is really, let's launch in, get your family out there, have a healthy time, and have a great festival back. Yeah, that's well, right. well that's your goals, I mean, that keeps us, I mean, that'll certainly keep me motivated out there. Just thinking about 40, 40 apartments. That 40 apartments. Wow. That's right. 40 apartments. You get a cramp, 40 yeah. apartments. Yeah. <laughs> 40 apartments. <laughs> yeah. You know, at 40,000 each, yeah. roughly. That's right. I mean, you know, it's just 40-40. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, right. so Thank you so much for joining us yeah. today. Yeah. Thank you for really Thank appreciate you. it, yes. guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. of this community and my heritage goes way back to 1935 when my grandparents came to town and started a chicken farm. My parents started Angel's Garden Center in 1957 and we have been proud supporters of the community because we're local and we are a family. We have associated ourselves with HCAM-TV because they are proud supporters of the community.